Okay, I got a minute of battery life left. Uh, um. Okay, I got this in here. Well, I tacked it in there. And I moved this bearing support post mechanism apparatus. You know, if you can see over about an inch and a half. So then this should allow the shock from maybe from a different go kart to fit in a, a little bit better. And it only took about eight tries. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, it's sort of aligned to the other one here, as I can tell. Is your arm getting tired? Yeah, a little bit tired. You should weld it, I guess. Yeah, I wonder why. Hey, that's pretty good. I think I could try sitting in it. You gotta like lift it and drop it. Yeah. Okay, that didn't really go down at all. Okay, we're out back in the the parking lot. Um getting together some brakes for the the build here um, we're, we're sitting on on the mini bike and someone's been doing burnouts but back to the task at hand are you kidding me can you see that they're playing cricket anyway back to to the, what I was going to say, we pulled the uh, br front brake system from, uh, I th what was it, some sort of, pause, some sort of uh, motorcycle. So we got two of these, but uh, we don't, there isn't any room for two, because everything's so tight, so we... Made a few adjustments and now we have the caliper for just one. And we have still have two two discs, but we'll just use one. So get this cleaned up a little bit. And we're gonna have to now make a hub to bolt on here. And we got six six bolt holes, so we make a hub, drill some bolt holes, tap them, and uh, get on there and we'll see you then. Alright, so I cleaned off this wonderful disc, looks pretty good. Went out and bought a 1 and 3 8 sleeve from Princess Auto, because that's where we get everything. Sponsor us! And turned a, uh, a hub on the lathe. So, just turn that over. So that fits on just like that. And theoretically, the uh, 
threaded holes will line up all the way around. It's close. That's how that works. And then when it's all said and done, this will be on here. Obviously, well, I'll just put that back to show you. You can go either like that or turned upside down. I think it's actually going to go like this. And that'll slide straight onto the axle between the tire and the frame. Then, now I got a sliver. So it'll look kind of like that. This is facing outwards. And then this will slide onto the axle as well into here. This is how all our hubs work, even for the wheels. And we have one actually for the steering wheel. Um, yeah, so it slides in here, like that, and bolts go th through here, into these three holes. And what that does, when you tighten the bolts, it, as it sucks its way down, it's tapered. So then, and it has little, little cuts in the side, so as it drives its way in here, it slowly squeezes its way onto the axle, and that's what keeps it nice and tight on the axle so it doesn't spin. So that's how that works. So I guess next is to put it on the axle, and then we'll go, go from there. Alright, I got all the bolts in. They're almost all the same. Slide that on, obviously it's loose, but this is a perfect fit, so Sump a thing like that. It's been a couple days and we've just been up to a few little things here and there. One of them was, uh, we put some spacers. Oops, sorry about that. Put some spacers under the engine mount thing. <laughs> uh, this way, when the clutch goes on, it used to hit the metal here. So now it's raised up a little bit. We got rid of that problem. And look, more traffic. This is classic, classic on this channel. Oh, bonus. And what else did we do? I guess the Suspension's all good. Uh, we did end up putting the leaf spring in here, and I think I already mentioned that. So now it's good and stiff, stiff suspension. Um, what else? Well, we got it off the table, so it's now just freestanding. Front suspension might be. A little bit soft. We have ordered extra or uh, different shocks for the front. Seat was moved forward because we thought that, well, we tried it and then this would, would secondary cl clutch was gonna. I thought for sure someone was right behind me. That was weird. We thought this would hit on the seat and. It did, but then we moved stuff around, brought, which made it so we could bring the seat further back, which was nice because now the head's actually protected by the sidebar, and you're sitting a little bit further back, which looks nicer as well. Uh, got the new tires on, sort of. It's we haven't locked it into place yet, which is why we have so much extra axle there. Steering column had to raise it up a little bit to make everything work well and so I could fit in the seat. Lots of little changes that were good before but then after you change one thing it kind of snowballs and you have to change a bunch of other stuff. 
What else was there? I knew there was something. Ah! Speaking of brakes. So on the orange cart, let's just run out there, shall we? see back in there there's a there's a lever hopefully you can see that and then that just pushes the rod into the brake caliper there you go. yeah so we want to do something similar with that for this cart it just seems like the easiest method I'm gonna put the disc and the caliper, once this, ouch, once this wheels forward or to the side more, put it in between there and then nice. This will rest somewhere here. Where was it? Up here maybe? I don't even remember. One more, more traffic, good. Um, this is getting boring. So anyway, I'll make a new clip. Brake-wise, like I said in the, in the clip before, we're gonna try to do what we did in the orange cart, a bunch of pivot systems. Systems, wow, that came up funny, systems. So we had all these extra uh, steering arms that we didn't use. These ones are actually off of that the original snowmobile we found the motor on. So that gives us some threaded ends and some adjustment. So we got the pivot there. Also sounds nice, plays you a little song. So over here we machined a few pieces. And then here's the oh, we cut, or we cut off the the original brake handle, or cut it shorter at least. So and then it just pulls on there. And that should work, you would think. But still have to set that all up. <laughs> 